I was a big dummy and started recording without actually having my sound on. Oops. Um, anyways, to my left and, and your right, I think, is the cleric house that I built in the last one of these videos. And basically, I plan to transform every single house in this village into a specific villager profession house and make them look really cool and not how they do in vanilla Minecraft. And I've only done one of them so far. So the next one that I'm doing today, I'm sure you already know this because of the thumbnail, is the Fletcher's house, which I have already begun. Roll these two time lapses. So I tore down the house and I put up this perimeter of grass, basically. And if you watched the first video, I will link that below this video in case you have not seen it. But basically, I just Bob Ross this. I do whatever I feel like and continue to tweak and change things the whole time through. So that's what I'm going to do here, too. I, after the time lapse, extended this arm out just a little bit. And I'm trying to think about how I want this to be laid out. I want it to be much more lighter and wooden looking than this one. And I want it to have a kind of tower in the middle, like, that you could shoot off of or something like that. And then a, a wider part on the bottom that opens up into this back area. That's what I'm imagining. So, I'm just going to bring this this way. I think if the road just kind of does this sort of thing into here and then curves along this way behind this wall, this grass wall. Something like that. I think that could look really, really cute. And then maybe the entrance to the house is right here. I got this oak wood. I don't know if this is actually what I'm gonna stick with, but let's see how this might look. I don't know, would this feel too cramped for an opening, for a beginning? Um. What if I do this, and I do this, and I do one, two, three, like this, and then this can be a door. I would want it inset like that, and then these would be walls of some kind. Let me, um, hmm, I'm deliberating. I don't know what I want to do. Um, if you can hear a weed whacker going in the distance? No, you don't. And then I'm thinking maybe we can have some sort of like inset windows. Let me go get some more birch. Um, I don't know what I'll want. Let's see how this looks. Because the fletching table is very birchy looking, so I kind of want to extrapolate on. Oh, are you moving in, sir? Do you want to be a fletcher? Let me get some windows. Why am I typing in window? <laughs> that looks kind of cute. And then it will come in this way. You yeah, I like how your nose wiggles. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, and then we put a wall here. One, two, three, and then we put a wall here. Wait, did I d yeah, I did that right, okay. And then I think we can do a similar sort of thing here. Mm, this looks very modern. I don't like this. I don't like this so far. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Hold on. Let me think. Okay, I've had to think about it. And I'm going to tear this down. <laughs> I still want the entrance to be over here, but I do think I want the bottom of it to be made out of stone. I'll make the rest of it out of this stuff, I think, but... I want it to be out of stone, and then I want there to be actually a couple entrances over here, and then a face of the building here selling some stuff that will be open to this square. Because I want to keep this square as a market area, and I thought that like having this open space here being a place where it could sell things, the Fletcher could sell things, might be immersive. I think it will look really cool. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this, and this, and this and this and this. And then I think, I think I'll take these, probably. Okay, I'm gonna make the corner posts out of this stuff. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, one, two, three. We're gonna have a bigger opening here. I think it'll come out like this on the sides. And then, 
one, two, three. It's going to back this way a little bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. OK. Let's try to work with this real quick. I'm gonna fill in these spaces with this and then kind of branch those out a little bit like that, I think. And then we're gonna put this here. And then right here, we're gonna have that. And then stairs moving upwards like this. And then we'll, we'll throw in a couple of those there as well. That's looking a little more like it, I think. Then we can grab these things and do this, I think. And then over here, we would have we have a lectern and I'm, I'm probably going to change this up, but just to throw something down. Something like that, and then we would have uh, maybe oak signs across them. I think I'm going to make this path a little bit more cobbled as it gets over here. And then right here, it'll dip down by a step. I think we can make the floor mostly cobble, but I think we'll actually have a little bit of path block stuff in here too. Do I still have my shovel? I do. If we do this, but then I want to make these cobble as well. Get rid of those little dirt blibs. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I just want to make sure that I keep enough space in the back of it here. I think I might, mm, maybe I won't. No, I think I will. I think I'm gonna bring a post out here so I can have that sort of symmetry and shorten this wall just a little bit. And then it can come back this way. And I'm gonna have this open up back here in a couple archways, I think. So if I put, how long is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then that will be the eighth. So one, two, three, and then I'm gonna leave openings of five. All right, so now I have this. A nice open area here. This is going to be where you do the the shootings. So there will be some bullseye targets on the walls here. And a bunch of bowing equipment in here. I don't know if that's what it's ar archery equipment. That's the word. I think so. So I have to finish up the stuff in there. And then it needs a proper house on top of it up here. So I need a ceiling. Uh, let me put this here. Let's try getting... Should we do a stripped log like this? And just kind of jut them out like supports. And then maybe on this one there's a fence. Boink, boink, boink. Like that. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Uh, what about on these? <laughs> Shouldn't it just be fence gates? Fence posts? I don't know. I don't like that. What if I put these here? And step in here and maybe maybe there's like a little a little window or something. Like that? Wait, no, come back. Like no, come back. Like that? And then maybe this one comes out this way too. And then we just need something connecting them, holding these up. I don't know, something to think about, something to consider. I don't like this. 
<laughs> I guess I didn't consider it that long. I, I also need some sort of roof in here. Do you think I should put these across? I don't know why I'm asking, like, you can respond to me. Um... Like some support beams like this. That looks like it could be cool. And then we would have another one right here. Like that. And then maybe another one right here. Oh, I do like that. If we're going to do that, I think I'm going to make the floor slash ceiling here out of stairs. I like doing this with the stairs sometimes to make the appearance of there being more beams. Someone is taking a shower. Ignore the sound in the background. Or don't, but ignore it. Anyways, this is what I have right now. I finished up the floor, or the ceiling, in here, which has the main support beams and then these planks to look like a bunch more beams. I put these tiny... I forget what they're called. There's a name for this type of window, but I put these in the walls. It looks very militant. And there's a few of those upstairs as well. Some of them have normal windows, some of them have these windows. Basically, I put the normal windows on cross sections that had uh, an odd number of three. These type of windows where it was just a cross section of one, these types where it was a cross section of two. So that way there's plenty of windows. I love windows. But a bunch of different types. I also have these strange little alcoves jutting off here which I don't entirely know what I'm gonna do with yet. And then I put signs around here and trap doors around some of these supports. So there's trap doors on the windows with just one opening in between. And there's trap doors around these odd corner pieces right here. And then some signs connecting these. And some signs wrapping around here. I'm not entirely sure about this part here yet. I'm not entirely sold on it, but I don't mind it right now. Maybe I'll end up keeping it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But now what I have to do is decide on some sort of roof. I'm not going to lie. This is always my least favorite part. I don't really like making roofs. I think I'm going to try to do the same thing I've done here with a trim out of oak and detailing out of birch. If we get oak stairs and... This is not like a final draft, we're just imagining here. Just imagining. Do this sort of thing, and then maybe it like juts out like that. And then on the inside we would have these. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. I think I might give that a try and see how it looks. I don't think there's any other blocks that I really want to use for a roof. I mean, spruce is always good, but I know I'll use spruce in other buildings and I'm trying to make this one look lighter than the rest of the buildings. So let's, let's give this a try. And I'm gonna pop back in in a moment to show you my progress. So this is where we are currently at. I've gotten the roof to a place where I think I like it. Oh, actually, I want to add um, some eaves right here. Maybe there. Yeah, I like that. Should we just do it like that or like that? Maybe those are eaveless. Those ones have eaves, and that's good. Those ones don't need any. Um, I'm not sure what to do in this section. Maybe something like this? That one is fine. That one is, well maybe what if we, what if we add some like this here? That's cute. And maybe something like that right there. If that, if I'm doing that, I'm going to do that here as well. I like it. Now, I have ended up with these two corner places being the towers that I'm building. And I'm not exactly sure how I want to approach those yet. So I am actually going to go down here and work on this part while I think about those. Because I want to 
replace this stuff with cobble. All right, now I want to throw a little bit of stone in there, especially at the top parts. Something like that. And then I think, hmm, how do I want to do this? I kind of want to have some, some grassy overhang here. I think I might grab this and make a few bits like that to have an overhang. Yeah, that looks a little better. And then we can bring in a target. So it should be kind of right in the center of these like that and like that. Let's make one higher up on this side too, just for a little variety. There we go. That's looking really good. Now I'm gonna do all the interior of this stuff off camera and show it to you at the very end of the video. That means the only part I really have to do before I do the interior are these towers. and I really don't know what to do with them still. Maybe if I open them up to a square at the top here, where I do something like this. And then I can kind of, uh, yeah, let's try, let's try the birch up here. How would it look if I did something like this? Ooh, that's kind of cool. If I'm gonna do that though, I need to bring it inwards a little bit, right? Like in the middle? Cause I only need enough room inside to just get up a ladder or something. That's better, that's a much better shape. So let's do the same thing on the other tower. Okay. That's all I'm going to show you now. Now I'm going to jump into the interior and show you my finished product when it's all done. I'm very excited. See you in a moment. And we're done. I'm so happy with this. This is so cool. Okay, I want to I want to step back real quick and look at these both together. Oh, this village is going to look amazing when it's all done. All right, now real quick, we are going to bone meal a little bit around the outside of this place just to make it look a little nicer. I'm not going to put any trees like I did over there because I feel like as a Fletcher they would want it to be open and, and visible, you know? But this is just going to bring a little bit of extra life. See? Look at that. So much better. All right. Let's walk you through this, or around this first, I guess. Let's take a look at the outside. So I used some more trapdoors at these connecting bits because I thought that without the trapdoors, it just looked a little bit stupid. So I added those in. I also did a little bit up here. I have all these lanterns hanging off the edges of the tops. It looks almost a little bit uh, Norwegian, Scandinavian. It looks almost akin to a, a hunting lodge, which is kind of what I wanted. And the inside looks like that too. We'll get there in a moment. And there is a chimney off the back here. I'll show you that from the inside in a second. And there's still the market place, I suppose. Let's start at the bottom. So this is the archery area. There's a giant fire over there with wood and a place where maybe they can do a little bit of smelting of their own. Although I think they might uh, be more likely to get arrows and such from the the blacksmith but i put it there just in case in case they want it so you can grab a pew pew and ta-da that was a terrible shot but you get the idea where did i pull this out of i pulled it out of here i think so yeah this is the bottom the archery place I'm pretty happy with it. And then we go up here and this stairway takes us to the top, which this is the front door design thing I settled on. It's very strange, but I like it. And then this is the inside. 
there is a sitting area over here and over here there's a piano. I've never tried to make one of these in Minecraft. This is supposed to be an upright piano. These are looms and then this is a lectern for the piano book with a stair right here. And this was perfect because this is not actually exposed to the outside which meant that I could kind of dig into the wall back here a little bit more than I normally would be able to, to make this work. Same thing with this here, because this, not exposed to the outside, so I could make it the back of this grandfather, grandfather clock, which I really like this clock design too. And I have another one of these shelves in here. Love this shelf design I came up with, and then the bed. And there's some paintings all around. And then in either corner, you can go up these ladders to these lookout towers. And again, you can grab the pew pew. And then the one over there, can we see it through here? Maybe, not really. <laughs> the one over there is the exact same, just a little bit lower. Same stuff up there too a lantern and a little barrel with a few things to shoot out of. So this is the Fletcher's house. Very cabin-like, more rustic than the cleric's house over there, which was much more kind of whimsical and strange. This one is much more like a, a cabin and a lookout post combined. <laughs> so let me know what you think of it. Do you like the Fletcher's house? And which one of these villager professions houses would you like to see me make next? Now that we have the two of these. We have 12 more to go. Anyways, this has been a lot of fun and I hope that you enjoyed it too. And if you did, then sir, is he going into the house? Yeah, that villager just went to the house. <laughs> if you did like it, then sir Skurb. And oh, you can see him in the window up there. <laughs> Then Sir Skurb, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.